Okay, good morning, grade 10. Um, so I'm just explaining this video what we're doing in this week, week 11, and also next week, week 12, and nearly at the end. So hold on, a couple more weeks to go. Um, so obviously, um, your first thing on Monday, you're still finishing your FST. Remember, it must be uploaded to Manage Bag by 4 p.m. <clears throat> I know some of you have already done that. Um, so if you've already done your FST, um, then you can go straight on with this week's and next week's task. Um, if you haven't, remember it needs to be done by Monday, um, 4 p.m. Some of you, if you're late handing in summatives or formatives, I'm doing the marking now. If your grade's not there, you get a zero. Obviously, this will affect your report cards. Um, so what we're going to do this week is going to look a bit at the idea of global issues. Um, so global issues are issues, and they can be positive or negative. Don't let the idea issues think that they have to be something bad. Um, that are widespread in the world today. So they have to be sort of applicable to more than one country to be global, and they have to sort of occur consistently. So it's an issue that is happening in the world today. So it can't just be in one country. So your issue couldn't be, for example, um, the problem of traffic in Chitraland. That's not a global issue. That is very much a localized to Chitraland. And it must occur consistently. So for example, it couldn't be um, single people feel unhappy on Valentine's Day. Um, yes, it applies to more than one country, but obviously it only applies once a year on Valentine's Day. Now, if you were to say society makes single people feel unhappy, then that would be a global issue because that's something that is applicable to more than one country and it occurs consistently. So one of the things we do in language and literature, and especially you're going to really do a lot of this um, next year, is we make connections with the text we read and we try to connect them with the world that we currently live in. So your task is to think of one global issue that's related to Othello. So one of the issues that is in Othello that is still related, that's still relevant to the world today. And we've already explored some of the possible connections. You know, we did work on racism, we did work on jealousy, on gender representation. So we've already, I think, explored some of the issues, but we haven't necessarily looked at how they are relevant today, if they're still a problem today. And I've attached some videos to give you some, some inspiration. You don't have to use these videos, they're just to help you. I think they're interesting videos. And you can also use what's happening in the world today. So you can also say, okay, so what are some problems or issues in the world today? Um, what are some things that are happening in the world today? Are they related to Othello? Okay. And what you want to do is in your study guide, just write down what this global issue is in section seven. Just have to do one. I said in your template two, but I think we're just going to do one. Um, and create something in response to this. You know, this week, you know, I want you to do something creative. So it could be a poem, it could be a short story, it could be an illustration you've done, could be a video you've made, it could be a mind map, something that is related to this global issue. And so your creation could be explaining how you feel about this global issue, how this global issue makes you feel. So for example, if your global issue was about single people being made to feel inadequate by society, you could write a poem explaining how it feels to be a single person. Okay. Or you could write about or create something about how a fellow is connected to this global issue. And all you have to do is post your creation on the slide for section seven. If you need obviously multiple slides, that's fine. Um, you know, this should be something fun. This should be something, you know, I want you to do something creative. You've got the freedom to basically do it in whatever form you want. And our last activity, some of you probably thought we'd forgotten about the study guides, is we're nearly now ready to hand in our study guides. Remember, this is a formative assessment. Um, and so by now, we should have the following content. We should be nearly filled. 
So section one, obviously the context, we did this in our week two work on the context. Um, section two, the plot, this was week three, conventions of a tragedy. You know, we looked at Freytag's pyramid, et cetera. What are the characterization, uh, what are the characteristics of a Shakespearean tragedy? We looked at characters in week um, five, and that goes in section three. So race and Othello, um, what you can do is you can just copy and paste the essays that you wrote for week four and put that in um, your study guide. So very simply copy and paste what you did, put that in section four as ever. If you need more slides, that's fine. Section five, obviously themes, symbols and motifs. That was our week six work. So week six, just co uh, copy and paste your close textual analysis that you did. Obviously, our global issues goes in week, uh, goes in uh, section seven, and that's the work that we're doing this week. So again, that's where you paste your poem or your video or your drawing, whatever you want to do. Um, now you can delete section eight. We're not going to do section eight. Time constraints, I know some of you will be very disappointed. We're not going to do that, so just delete the slide. Just go to the slide, your template, and just delete it. Okay? Um, and so I think for most of you, you've already done all of the work up to week seven. Okay? So very, very simply, you're just making sure everything is complete, and then you need to hand it in. The way you're going to do this, you're not going to submit to manage back. You're going to hand it in on Google Classroom. So just go to the um, assignment on Google Classroom and click turn it in or hand in. Um, and this needs to be done by, let me just write this on there. By Monday. The 14th, 14th, does that sound right? No, the 15th, sorry. By Monday, the 15th of June at 4 p.m. Because if it's not done by then, um, I won't be able to grade it and put it on your report cards in time. Um, and you may think that's a load of work, but you've already done the work for section one, two, three, four, five, six. It's only number seven you have to do, and obviously week eight, you're deleting that section. So as ever, um, I'll be on Google Classroom, Google Hangouts. We'll have a Google Hangouts call maybe on the Tuesday. Um, make sure if you have any questions, ask them, and you know, keep going as we're nearly there. Thanks, have a good day.